In this video, we'll review how Pencil Plus works inside Blender. It can offer you a lot of advantages when creating the outlines for your anime characters. Creating outlines for human anime characters, robots, and architectures is very easy with the parameters in Pencil Plus. In this example, we can see that also the node system in Blender using the compositor or geometry nodes are available to be mixed with this new add-on for stylized production. So as you can see here, we have some different wiggling lines, we have different outlines, colors, and many other aspects that we will show you in the next video. <music> 3D anime is a class of its own. The animation and style is distinctive from 2D aspects of anime production. In Japan, most CG anime studios use 3D Studio Max and Pencil Plus since they have more than two decades of well-established workflows and production value. Until the pandemic in 2020 happened. Enter Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.11, a production that happened while the world was confined. It is during this period that Pisa, the company that created Pencil Plus, announces a Blender version of their acclaimed software. The news was later confirmed by one of the studios working for the movies using Blender. The other studios continue to use 3D Studio Max and Pencil Plus to give us stunning scenes like this. Pencil Plus is an add-on that specializes in the outlines for all the CG elements. The sole purpose of it is to generate outline passes that will be later composed with the render sequence. Since Blender offers a real-time viewport, PSOFT developed the add-on to be used with Blender's node system. You can capture color attributes in geometry nodes and use them with Pencil Plus. As for which scenes were animated in Blender for the movie, we have the space battleship fight scene and some of the Mariah's action sequences fighting against the Evas. Don't quote me on that, I might have missed something from 2021 production notes on the movie. Pencil Plus offers a 14-day free trial so you can test your models, renders, and scenes in Blender. By the way, this video is not sponsored by PSoft. I wish, but I'm not a sponsor. But at last, Pencil Plus is here for Blender, so let's do a quick run-and-gun review about it. So you need to download Pencil Plus from their official sites, which also offers you some demo scenes that you can explore on your own. This is advantageous because you can understand the workflow. So you can come to PSoft website and also to their GitHub uh, site where they have the add-on specifically for you to download it for Blender. Since it's an open source, they you know published it on GitHub. So click on that and download that add-on for Blender and later come back to the piece of website to the download section and then look for the 14 day demo installation that they have our of their server this server will allow you to render without any watermarks after the 14 day of trial if you so wish to buy it so once you have those two things let's start um, let me just copy the path I'm going to install their server this is important because this allows the software to communicate with your Blender uh, add-on in this case. And it is also important to note that PSOF has a bridge, what they call the, the Pencil Plus bridge, which will allow you to transpose settings from 3D Studio Max to Maya, uh, Maya to, I hope, Blender in the future. They have not announced that, but I know how that works. Anyways, this is how the server looks. And after the 14-day trial, this will be reset. And if you so wish to buy it, this costs around $425, and that's um, that's the necessary thing to have the server running for a perpetual license, individual license. So let's go and download the sample files also on the download page from PSoft, and there you can open each one of the scenes and explore the settings. For example, transparency, which is very important. Outline passes specifically to isolate any of the elements. You can list them here and so that you can work with those things. Transparency is super important and also render priority. So anyways, let's go to install the add-on in Blender. So let's start Blender, go to preferences, install, target the um, directory where you save your add-on, in my case I've already saved it, and the automatic path to find their server will be already in place, so don't switch anything 
from here don't change anything so that should be right out of the box working so save your preferences restart blender and let's get with our first scene so now that i have restarted blender i want to create a monkey right there subdivide it control 2 and then right click soft shading let's change that to shaded view let's assign a material and just for the purposes of this i want to show you that we can you know do this uh, with a flat shading emission shader so let's go first of all to our shader material editor let's delete this principal bsdf and let's use an emission node so we are going to connect this directly of course your shading emission nodes can be more elaborated and here you will find in the editors this new editor which is called pencil plus you will create a new node system for this specific model or for this specific scene because this works at a scene level this is why i wanted to review this so now in the end tab you will activate the viewport add-on so this will enable the viewport to render out all of the outlines from pencil plus next we're going to add the nodes so it's very easy you you will come here to where it says pencil plus and then add the nodes in order you can see also that the colors for the input sockets match and if you press n you will find all of the necessary parameters for each node this is very important because this is how it works and from there you can add the list of input sockets that you're going to get into the line sets which basically create a, a pass system an internal pencil plus pass system sorry that was a mouthful and you can also check with this checkbox right here to isolate all of the colors and just see your outline alone this is very important because it will be necessary in the next steps so anyways let's continue to add the network the third node is the brush settings you're you're going to connect that into the brush vertical and horizontal settings as you can see right here and then a new tab has appeared with new settings if you change the colors you will not see any kind of difference between what you have this is because you still need a fourth node which is the brush details and whenever brush details is active then you can see that the color for the brush is going to change so let's do that so let's go and add the last um, very basic setup you can see that the socket corresponds to a, an aqua color and now we have a third tab which is called the brush details and now you can change the brush settings as we were mentioning before so that's it this is the most basic node system that you can create now where is the complexity on this all of these parameters will help you to stylize your line remember pencil plus is just to create outlines it's not to create shaders it's to, cre to create outlines and then we can have for example a, a very um, two and three repetition lines one on top of the other uh, we can have a dashed line as you can see right here we can also randomize how far and how near the lines end and you can also define those parameters around here i'm not going to mess this up right now i want you to walk this really quick with me but bear with me you have a distortion parameter where you can you know wave and sign and cycle and face uh, the amount of distortion that you will have on your stylized line now this is very important i have covered this in the production notes for attack on titan season four uh, you should check it out on my channel anyways this other parameter right here will change how your stroke is drawn this is what makes the real effect for a st for a stylized outline so anyways we you can come here and change the size and decide how you want it and back here in this um, line settings you can see the anti-aliasing will soften as much as you want or harden as much as you want your outline with those parameters i think you're already set and this is working just great uh, of course we can change the colors from the material directly and as i mentioned before at the beginning of the video if you're an expert in geometry nodes you can capture color attributes you can capture um, certain uh, variables certain parameters from geometry nodes and then 
pass them on here on the system for pencil plus let's switch to the compositor window right now and i want to add a new view layer for pencil plus you can see it right here it's got its own view layer it's not the blender view layer no 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 this has its own view layer pass which you need obligatory you need to combine it before rendering because if you render right now all you're going to see is the blender pass so let's use an alpha over node shift a select alpha over and now we need to connect the image socket into the first uh, input connection of the alpha over and pencil plus will be connected into the second one then you can connect this into the composite and viewer nodes respectively so that we can see that in the camera viewport and also on the render viewport of the compositor results and sure enough if you press f12 you will now get your render properly uh, represented here in blender so what else can we do here let's go back into this line set from pencil plus um, this space right here has got the objects list this is the most important part and this of course has the line set this is where you're going to define which elements are going to contain which kind of line so you have one line like we have one material representation for EVs or cycles materials and let me show you something else when you go to the edit mode, you can right click on it or press Ctrl E rather, select all of these lines, for example, these edges. And then if you press Ctrl E, you can come in to mark as freestyle edges. So it's a great thing that Pencil Plus is able to read freestyle edges also to define the limits for your materials, although Pencil Plus does this natively, that is, it limits the different colors from one material to another material and as you can see right here we can check on their background color selection that the outline is perfectly well another example another great example for the pencil plus uh, extra settings or rather common settings is the anti-aliasing you can soften how hard or how um, visible is the line the outline for your characters also uh, don't sleep on distortion because that wavy uh, lines that creates also helps to stylize your models even better here I'm testing this with Ghislaine which is available for download for you the links are in the video description and you can see that the passes for the hair highlights can also be separated so that means it won't affect it also as we previously published the cyber Humeratech Dragon can also have different styles for collections. This is important because it also allows you to put everything inside a collection and make it into a group. So more of this details about how to construct all of these parameters around the outlines will be given on my Patreon. If you're a supporting Patreon, you're also going to get the models for the rewards each month. So thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Pierre Schiller. I am a 3D animator and BFX compositor with over 20 years of experience. And let me ask you something. Have you tried Blender with Pencil Plus? Try Blender. Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible.